What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with my full review for you of the smart cover with hardback case for the iPad. This was sponsored by tmart.com so be sure to check their link out in the description right down there. They have tons of different accessories for tons of different products and well just tons of products. They have various electronic devices. Just browse around, I'm sure you'll find something that you like. But like I said, this is going to be the review of this guy, the smart cover with the hardback case. This is for the iPad 2, but I'll get more into that later. Now in my typical review fashion, I've constructed a pros and a cons list for this product. So let's just go ahead and start with the pros. The first pro is that it has a pretty durable material. This feels just like the polyurethane that Apple provides, which by the way, I do have right here. I mean, if, I, if you put these like side by side, you honestly really can't tell which one is which other than these guys right here, which once again, I will get into later. But right off the bat, it does feel like a very nice material. It's not identical. This does feel, I want to say like a little softer maybe. It's kind of hard to explain, but overall still a very nice material. It's not something that I'm going to, you know, scratch or rip or anything like that. Very nice material. Here. The next pro about this case is, as you can see, I have the orange one, but this actually comes in a plethora of colors. They have colors like green and blue, and I think even like a gray or a black color as well. They have many different ones on their site, so go ahead and check the link right down there. Browse through all the different color options, find one for you. So before I go on anymore, let's go ahead and put the iPad in the case. So here's a smart cover coming off. Go ahead and open this guy up, and we'll go ahead and we'll plop this guy right in here. Now I'll get a little bit more into the actual fit later, but right off the bat I'll go ahead and show you around the case here. You can see if this will focus right around this region. You have your headphone jack, you have a cutout for your microphone, cutout for your camera, it just fits just perfectly. You have your cutout for your sleep and wake button, all your volume switches and um, rotation lock, things like that. Your 30 pin connector, speaker, and even this case sports an Apple cutout, which I have to say does look pretty nice, even with the orange. It's kind of like a Halloween sort of theme, if you will. But like I said, you can get green or you know whatever have you. And so as you would guess, this does feature a lot of the smart cover functionality. Or actually, I should say all the smart cover functionality. You do have the magnets that sleep and wake the device. You can also fold this guy back like so and use it as a stand or a, um, or a keyboard typing angle as well. But this is where I'm going to have to start getting into the cons of this case. This case, it says on the website, is meant for the iPad 2, which as I've seen with many cases, they label as such, but a lot of the iPad 2 cases just work great with uh, the third generation, even though this one is a little bit thicker than the second generation, in 90, I'd say 98% of the cases it fits. Unfortunately, this is that weird 2% that it will not work. I'll go ahead and try to zoom into this uh, up here. As you can see, it fits fine here, and then at the end here, it's sort of popping out, so you can see that. And that's simply just because, like I said, the third generation iPad is about a millimeter thicker than the previous generation. And with this case, that's just enough to the point where I wouldn't really trust this. I actually haven't been able to use this as much as I would like to, just simply just because if a lot of times I'd have this in here, I'd go to put it up on the stand and the iPad would almost like slip out of here and I'd just have to catch it. And that's, like I said, that's just because that it's nothing on my end or T-Mart's end or, you know, whoever manufactured this case. It's just simply the fact that this case was designed to work with an iPad 2 and not a third generation. So if you have, which I'm guessing you do, a lot of my audience, if they have an iPad, probably is the third generation. Unfortunately, this case will not work for you. So I'll go ahead and try to demonstrate this a little bit better for you guys. This corner down here is not in, so if I try to push it in, it might stay, but sometimes it pops right back out like that. And that's simply, like I said, just because it's just too big to fit in this case. Now, for the most part, if it's like on three corners, what's going on? <laughs> if this is um, secure on three corners, as you can see here, for most, actually, actually, this one's not really secure, but I did find throughout the time that I had using this that um, the third generation will stay in for you know most things but to, to be able to trust it everywhere I definitely cannot do that but just for some light usage you can I guess trust um, like the iPad to stay in there but I just absolutely do not recommend it I will go out to say that if you have a third generation iPad do not even look at this case because it will not work for you now if you have a second generation iPad it'll work just fine everything will work the, the iPad will fit in here just right and you'll have a very nice case so putting aside that this case actually isn't designed for this device, the only other con I found would be these hinges right here. They really are not the highest of quality as you can see. So I'll go ahead and I'll bring out the smart cover just so you guys can get some sort of uh, an idea here. This guy here is much thicker than this is back here. And also it just feels that this is obviously way better built. The build quality of this is just better. 
Uh, you see that guy does rotate there. Whereas this guy, it's all sort of like built into the case in here. And these are very thin. They're only attached like right here. So I do feel that the hinge could have been designed a little bit better, but for everyday usage, uh, I would assume that this could last for a while before anything happens to it, because it is metal. I don't know if I can't really show it very well, but it is metal, whereas this is that polyurethane material, so I can't imagine it just, you know, breaking after a couple of days or a couple of weeks of usage, but over time, I would imagine that that would get worn out. So that's pretty much all I have for you for the review of this guy. Like I said, I was not able to get the full experience that I could to review this simply just because my third generation does not fit in the second generation case. But regardless, I did try to use it as much as possible. But when leaving the house, I did change into this case or, you know, some of the others I have laying around. But around the house, I did use this. And overall, I was pleased with it. If I had a second generation iPad, then I could definitely recommend this. But if you have a third generation, unfortunately, I cannot recommend it as it simply does not fit. Now, if you do have a second generation iPad, and you're looking to pick up a pretty inexpensive case, this can be found for just about 15 bucks, which, you know, for the, the only con to have is, you know, the hinge, which probably still will last for a decent amount of time. If you're a person that likes to show that Apple logo and, you know, just have the smart functionalities and things like that, then I really cannot not recommend this case if you have a second generation. Then I have to say, this is a pretty good case for 15 bucks, especially, you know, it protects the whole back. Whereas, you know, Apple's smart cover does similar things for about $50. Now, while the build quality will obviously be a little bit better than this, is it really worth the additional, you know, $35? You go ahead and be the judge of that because, you know, for that price, you could buy a couple more of these. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. Also, be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and at RoachTechnology on Twitter. Once again, go ahead and check out TMart.com right down there in the description. There'll be a link to this case if you do have a second-generation iPad. And before I ramble anymore, thank you guys for watching.